everybody, Mr. G here with a quick tutorial on how to export your pivot and get it into another program so you can add sound effects. So here we go. I'm assuming you already have Movie Maker, Pivot, and uh, any other program you might need. Those are the two that we're going to use. So step one, you take your awesome animation and you export it. So here's my animation. I call it The Punch. I'm going to go to File, Export Animation, and then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select AVI because that is a video format that likes to play well with video programs. And I'm gonna name it so I know what it is. I'm gonna call mine The Punch, you call yours whatever you wanna call it. Always pay attention to where you're saving, so I suggest, um, in this case, uh, we're working on a program that I would save it to your desktop and uh, stick it there, and I'm gonna call it The Punch. I'm gonna click Save. I'm gonna leave all this information the way it is. I'm gonna say, okay, depending on how long your animation is, this can take uh, this could take 10 seconds, this could take two or three minutes. So if it's longer, it's gonna take longer. If, the, if it's bigger pictures, it's gonna take longer. So there we go, I'm almost done. Step two, we've, we've saved it. Now uh, we open up Movie Maker. And to open Movie Maker, as you know, you go to the Windows button and you can just type Movie Maker and it'll pop up. If you don't have it, you gotta install it. Sorry, so you're gonna have to take care of that. Okay, and once we've opened it, we're back here, now we're in. We should find our uh, animation that we saved to our desktop called The Punch, and you can see it's right there. And I'm gonna drag it and drop it in. And there we go. Now I've got my uh, animation. Now you just need to add your sound effects. And the best way to add your sound effects in this example, okay, I'm gonna put a punch sound right there is to go to add music, you have two buttons. You're gonna click the bottom button and you're gonna say add music at current point. This is very important. If you don't do this, you're gonna be very frustrated with your sound effects because they're gonna knock each other out of the way. So I'm gonna look for a, a thump or a hit. I'm just gonna put a, I'm gonna put a thud sound open and the punch. And I can't hear it, but I'm hoping there's an actual sound. Let's try that again. There we go. Obviously a punch sound effect would sound a lot cooler there. So um, I have access to sound effects and you have access to those. If you're in my class, it's in the Digicom dollar sign folder. I will just go to my desktop and um, there's, a, there's a link. I have a lot of stuff on my desktop. You don't have as many things as I have. Um, let's see if I can find it. There it is, Digicom dollar sign. And um, we have a folder called sound effects. And by the way, I have this on my, um, my uh, Google Drive, so I have access to this. So I'll uh, I'll, I'll put a link to that in the um, the video. Uh, and uh, there's this thing called Alan Becker. Uh, he's the guy that did Animation versus Animator, and he has a ton of sound effects. So you can use any of these sound effects. His punch sound effects are pretty great. Um, yeah, this is a really good uh, sound effect. Yeah. Okay. There you go. There's the simple stuff you need to get started uh, adding sound effects to your animation. Good luck. Talk more later.